Hi everyone, welcome, welcome back to engineering reference. In today's video, we will explore the key difference between battery and capacitor. Two energy storage devices that look similar in purpose but work in, on completely different principles. We will break it down into their construction, working, energy storage, mechanism, and real world, real world applications. Step by step, basic concept. Let's start with the basic idea. Battery. A battery stores energy chemically and then converts that, that mechanical, that chemical energy into electrical energy when used. A capacitor. On the other hand, stores energy electrically in the form of an electric field between its plates. In simple words, the battery generates electricity, the capacitor only stores and releases it. Main difference between battery and capacitor. Symbol, this is battery, capacitor, and definition, battery stores potential energy in the form of chemical energy, which is later converted into electrical energy through chemical reactions. Capacitor. A capacitor stores potential energy in an electric field, electrostatic field, and releases it to the circuit as electrical energy. Construction. A battery has three main parts. The cathode positive terminal, the anode negative terminal, and the electrolyte medium that allows the ions to flow. A capacitor is two terminal devices made of Metal plates separated by dielectric materials and isolator. Function The battery supplies electrical energy to the circuit by generating and moving electrons through chemical process. The capacitor draws, stores, and releases energy. It doesn't generate electrons. It only stores existing charge. Working principle. A battery operates on oxidation, reduction, redox reactions, which produce electrical energy. When voltage is applied across its terminals, capacitor stores energy in the electric field formed between its plates. Operation. A battery generates electrons through chemical reactions. A capacitor stores electrons on the plates. Types Alkaline, Lithium, Silver Oxide, Zinc, Air, Zinc C Carbon, Load Acid, Li Ion, Ni MH, and Ni CD. Electrolytic, Electrostatic, Electrochemical, Supercapacitor, hybrid supercapacitor, ceramic, film, tantalum, and integrated capacitors. Type of device. Active component since it produces energy. Passive component since it only stores energy. AC and DC usage. Used mainly to provide DC supply, blocks DC but passes AC signals. Voltage behavior provides a constant voltage during discharge. Voltage drops rapidly during discharge. Potential difference constant during operation increases exponentially while charging. Charging and discharging time slow, usually between 10 to 60 minutes. Very fast, typically 1 to 10 seconds. Charging temperature works best between 0 to 
45 Silesius 32 to 113 Fahrenheit operates within 42 65 Celsius 42 149 Fahrenheit life cycle around 500 hours between 1 m to 3 m hours much longer serves life about 5 to 10 years about 10 to 15 years specific power rating around 1 k to 3 k weight per kilogram around 1 m weight per kilogram meaning it can deliver it can deliver per bursts of energy much faster polarity polarity re reverses during charging and discharging polarity must remain the same during post charging and discharging size for the same storage capacity a battery is usually smaller a capacitor is larger for the same energy capacity cost higher cost compared to capacitor lower cost for similar applications advantage high storage capability good power density battery leakage control than capacitors constant voltage output long life cycle short charging time handles high load currents works well under temperature variations long operational life is being disadvantage limited life, life cycle long charging time sensitive to temperature voltage and current limits low specific energy high self charge rate expensive per watt compared to batteries linear voltage discharge during operation applications Power electronics and household devices, energy storage and medical equipment, lot AI and military system, automotive and backup power. Power smoothing and power factors correction, high pass and low pass filters. Signals coupling and decoupling, motor stores, motor starters, suburbs, and oscillators. Final thoughts. Batteries provide long-term energy storage through chemical reactions. Capacitor provides instant power delivery through electric fields. They complement each other beautifully. Batteries keep system running, while capacitor handles the high-speed energy fluctuations. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this explanation, please like, share and subscribe to Engineering Reference for more detailed comparisons in electrical and power system. And at the end, which topic you would like next, perhaps supercapacitor versus battery or inductor versus capacitor. See you in the next one.